Yes, guys. Yes, 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 guys. I've come your way again today to bring you another opportunity for you to relocate abroad. Guys, you need to pay attention to every single detail of this video and don't be selfish. Share this video to people that you know who you know are going to benefit from this. I tell you, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> okay. A couple of days ago, I posted a video about childcare options in the UK with their costs, right? And as part of the affordable options, I mentioned au pair, okay? I mentioned that families in the UK can use the services of au pairs and that is an affordable option. So I explained that au pairs are usually foreigners that go into a country and then they live with families and then they help those families with childcare. So people in the comment section started asking if they could relocate to the UK as au pairs. So I've been gone and I've been doing my research upon research and now I can bury some great news guys before i even go ahead like this video and then we continue in this video i'll be telling you what an au pair is and how you can relocate to the uk as an au pair and then i'll show you how you can relocate other countries also as an au pair you won't believe what you're going to find in this video you won't believe it so if you're interested stay tuned <laughs> the interruption guys but i need to say this this video is probably sponsored by transfer go so transfer go is a money transfer company that allows you to send money from the uk and other eu countries to countries like ghana and nigeria and when you send money with transfer go know that there are no hidden charges the person gets the exact amounts that you're sending in at most 30 minutes the person is going to get the money okay transfer go is already trusted by 4 million people there are 4 million plus people already using transfer go and when you check trustpilots.com at the moment transfer go is rated the best financial service in the world yes they are so you can really trust them they are really reliable and they're very very convenient and if you have any issues their customer support is there to help you 24 7 okay so you can either send the money to the person's mobile money account or bank account the person can either pick it in naira or ghana city or even us dollar united states dollar and you can track their transfer at any point in time in the app okay Okay, and you can use the link in the description to download it either from App Store or Play Store and then make your first transfer now. So send money using Transfer Go to Ghana or Nigeria from the UK or other EU countries using the link in the description. Come back and thank me later. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much Transfer Go for sponsoring today's video. So for those of you who are still confused and don't know who an au pair is, an au pair is a young foreigner that travels from their country to another country to live with a family. And they refer to this family as the host family okay so you live with this host family you help them with taking care of their children or their child so you help them with child care and then you also do some light household chores for them and in exchange they will pay you something at the end of the week called pocket money okay it's not like a salary because like i said you become a part of the family because you live with them and then you eat their food and then just help them with child care and at the end of the week they'll give you something called pocket money and as of now au pairs are getting as of now between 70 pounds to 140 pounds per week for those that are in the uk i'm not so sure about the other countries okay so that's roughly how much you're going to earn per week you are not a house help and you are not a nanny a nanny is totally different from an au pair so let me briefly give the difference okay so for a nanny you can be in that country and apply as a nanny for a family but au pair you are a foreigner you are from a foreign country coming to help them okay and for nannies it's like a main job where you do and then you get paid a salary but for au pair you've been integrated into the family it's like a family member a temporary family member so they only give you pocket money for your upkeep you don't pay rent you don't pay bills it's like you're part of the family so they just give you something small for your you know pocket money right that is the difference and then you also help them with some light household chores so it is not like they're going to burden you with all the household chores that's if you get a good family they're not supposed to give you all the chores in the house to do you are not a maid okay various countries have various requirements but generally you should be young you should be between the ages of 18 and 30 for those that want to relocate to the uk as au pairs is between 18 and 30 i've seen other countries where the requirement is between 18 and 26 yeah but for uk it's between 18 and 30 and then you should not be married and you should not have kids okay so i 
think that runs across most of the other countries. You should not be married and you should not have kids. If you are married and if you have a child and you are turned off and because of that you want to stop watching this video, don't be selfish. Before you stop watching, send this video, share it to other people that you know, and your aunties, nephews, niece, grandmothers, daughters, cousins, who you think is young enough and will benefit from this. Don't be selfish and just click off the video. Share it to people. Share it with other people that can benefit. This could be somebody's breakthrough in life, okay? Also, you should be able to afford a plane ticket or a visa fee from your home country to the host family's country. Some host families can even decide that they'll pay for your plane ticket, they'll pay for your visa fee, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think you should start your journey being in debt to your host family, okay? So they say that usually you should have enough money for your visa application fee and then your plane tickets to travel to your host family. Those are basically the requirements. There are other requirements that are specific to different countries, but generally these are like the main requirements. The UK government, eh? They acknowledge the fact that so many families need au pairs and nannies in the UK. They acknowledge the fact that people do because there have been so many testimonies of British families or English families that have said that getting an au pair to help them with childcare saved them as much as £8,000 per year because obviously au pairs are a cheaper option. If they had to get a babysitter or like take the child to a childminder or their children to a childminder, they would have paid way more. And there are so many testimonies of families saying that they were able to save money big time because they used the services of an au pair. And there's a high demand for au pairs in the UK. However, it's quite difficult to come to the UK as a childminder or as a nanny or as an au pair. So in my research, what I realized is that if you want to come as an au pair, there are about five different visa routes or visa categories that you can come through. But there's no specific visa for au pairs, okay? But there are other visa categories that you can come through if you want to come as an au pair. So one is the tier five mobility scheme visa. So with this one, you can get a two year visa, which is available for au pairs from Australia, Canada, Hong Kong, New Zealand, Japan, Republic of Korea, Taiwan, Monaco, and British citizens of the overseas territories or British nationals living overseas, okay? So that's the first category. You can come through the tier five mobility scheme visas. And for that one, only these countries that I mentioned qualify. Okay, now let's look at the other visa categories that you can come through. So you can also come through the UK ancestry visa. It's also a two year visa for au pairs from Commonwealth countries who have a grandparent who was born in the UK, Channel Island or Isle of Man. Okay, that's the second one. Now let's look at the third one. So the third one is pre-settled status for EU citizens resident in the UK prior to December 2021. So they said for EU citizens who began their stay in the UK prior to December 31st, 2020, there is the possibility to apply for pre-settled status, okay? And then the application deadline was 30th June 2021. With this pre-settled status, it is possible to remain in the UK for up to five years without restriction regarding work or study. And if you are in this category as well, you can't apply to work as an pair in the UK. Let's look at the other options. The other option too is the special status for Irish au pairs in the UK. So previously, the UK was um, heavily dependent on other EU citizens as au pairs. So people from, let's say, Poland or Slovakia or all these other EU countries were the ones that were really coming as au pairs because at the time they could easily come here without a visa. And that was before Brexit. They could easily come here without a visa and then work for host families as an au pair. However, with Brexit, now they have to apply for visa just like all of us. So now it has become very difficult for them. However, they said that in contrast to other EU countries, young people from Ireland can continue to enter and work in the UK without any additional restrictions resulting from the new Brexit conditions. So now if you are in Ireland as well, you can relocate to the UK to work as an au pair. Then the last one, which most of my viewers might benefit from is using the student visa route. Okay. So available for au pairs from all nationalities who are enrolled in a full-time course of study in the UK. Wait, there's another option for those that are not coming as students as well. So hold on, I'll discuss it later. So let's say you're a student, okay? Or you want to come to the UK to study and then you fall within this category. You're not married, you're between the ages of 18 and 30 and then you don't have any kids, okay? And let's say you've got an admission in the UK university and you want to come and study. Or maybe you are now even thinking of coming to the UK to study. No problem. Maybe you've gotten the tuition fees but you don't have money for your accommodation or your hostel fees and then you upkeep when you come to the UK. So this is a great opportunity for you. You can come to the UK as an au pair and I'll show you how to do that soon. You can come to the UK as an au pair. You live with your host family. It 
help them take care of their child or their kids when you are not going for lectures or during the weekend when you are off school but that means you have to get a host family that is close to your university and then at the end of the week you can get something in your pocket you can get free food to eat and you can get a free place to stay you understand so that means your um, upkeep money and then your accommodation money is catered for all you need is your tuition fee so it's very great for student or people that want to come to the uk through the student visa route and are thinking of the accommodation and are also thinking of their upkeep money when they come yes that is it when i was researching for this video i watched so many videos on youtube maybe about 50 videos on youtube um, listening to stories of people that were able to relocate abroad as au pairs and i contacted most of these people and i asked them the agency that they used or the website that they applied through and 90 percent of them came through this website called au pair world they are not sponsoring this video i do not know them from anywhere it's just a research that i did and i realized that it looks like most people relocated as au pairs through this au pair world so i went to their website and i actually searched for it so this is how to apply so there are so many other websites or agencies that you can come through in my next video i'll give you the top five au pair agencies that au pair websites that you can you know apply through and get a family okay so this au pair world is just a website okay it's just like facebook or maybe tinder or wherever so what happens is you go and then you create an account and you register with them as an au pair other families also go there and register as a host family looking for somebody so you are also going as somebody looking for a family and there are families they're also looking for au pairs you understand so when you go let's say i go there and then i create a profile just like you create a profile on facebook and then you tell them yeah, at this age you want to come to the uk to learn the culture to you know to learn about the uk blah 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 probably let's say you want a christian family or you want a muslim family you stated there so the websites will match you to people that meet the kind of family that you are looking for and these other families will also see your profile and if they think they like you then you post that communicating so it's just like finding a date online so you post that communicating and then after you progress let's say they'll send you photos of the family they'll send you photos of their kids they'll say oh okay and then you now move to let's say whatsapp if they become personal with you then you can move to whatsapp or wherever they can have an interview with you a skype interview with you a whatsapp video call with you to see you and then you can arrange and they'll send you a contract for you to sign and once they send you a contract for you to sign that they'll give you the necessary documents and then you can start applying for your visas so this is how to register okay when you click on the link in the description register now as an au pair for free it's free don't be deceived do not send any money to anybody okay some of the au pair websites which i'll share in another video after you've gotten a family sometimes they'll take a hundred pound because they helped you connect you to the kind of family that you were looking for but most of them is free of charge free okay so do not pay anybody any money all right so register now as an au pair this is the one from au pair world okay and then according to them they have over thirteen thousand families that are looking for people right now on their website so you first fill your name your first name your last name your date of birth because they want to know that you are not above 30 years and then your gender your email address and then you create that's like you creating an account with them your contact details and then more about you whether you have a child care experience whether you have a driver's license whether you smoke whether you're vegetarian blah 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 the languages that you speak and everything and then you can create an account with them okay so that's how to create an account and then they can start pairing you to different families and then you can also look at the families and then choose maybe you don't like a family that smokes you don't want a family that has so many kids or whatever so that's how you can register at au pair world like i said they are not sponsoring this video i just realized that all the people that i contacted who relocated abroad as au pairs some uk some of them netherlands some of them america some of them australia so many other countries when i contacted them 90 percent of them that answered me back came through this website okay so like i said you can come through the tier 5 mobility scheme visa the uk ancestry visa the eu pre settled status visa those that are irish and then the student visa okay but the exciting news is that this au pair world website helps you to get host families in so many other countries so many other countries okay so it is only the uk that is a bit straight with their au pair like visa route but there are other countries that actually have a visa category for au pairs like a visa category for au pairs okay i'm going to show you how you can find it soon okay and i'll leave the links to all these things i'm mentioning in the description so you can find out so for those that do not qualify to come through any of the visa categories for uk there are other countries waiting patiently for you there are some countries that actually have an au pair visa so this is how to find out okay so you click this link in my description i'll leave it in my description okay and then they'll say ready for your adventure organize your au pair stay simply and easily with au pair world so find a host family now in this au pair world and websites they've been in existence since 1999 so it's quite old they give 80,000 plus au pair stays but i'm giving them free advice they've been in business for 20 years so that's really great 
it. Okay. So like I said, you create a profile, you find a host family, you agree on a contract and then you get ready to go. Now there are so many other countries. Okay. So it doesn't necessarily have to be UK because like I said, the UK is a bit tough. It can be Germany, it can be France, it can be Spain, but know that some of the countries are not English speaking. So you should be ready when you choose the country. So this is how to check if this country will be suitable for you based on the country that you are from. So you click on country check and when you click on countries check, it says in which countries can I become an au pair? So you select your nationality. So let's say you are from, um, let me say you are from Nigeria. Okay. Ghanaians, I'm not abandoning you. Okay. Okay. So let's say you are from Nigeria. So let's choose Nigeria. Um, Nigerian. Here is Nigerian. Okay. Your age, like I said, if you're above 30, it'll be a question mark. So let's just write 25. Okay. Am I married? No, I'm not denying my husband. It's just for this purpose. Okay. Any children? No. Now, languages that you speak well. I'm just going to choose English, okay? So it says, show me my pairing countries. So based on the nationality I chose and the age I chose and then how I answered that short questionnaire, now they will pair you to countries that you are likely to find a host family in, okay? Or it'll be easy for you to get a visa to au pair in that country. So I click, show me my pairing countries. And then look, you can be an au pair in these countries. So based on the answers I gave, there's Australia, there's Belgium, there's Denmark, there's Finland, there's France, there's Iceland, there's Ireland, there's Italy, there's whatever, I can't mention that country's name, let me skip it. There's Luxembourg, there's Netherlands, there's New Zealand, there's Norway, there's Spain, there's Sweden, there's Switzerland, there's USA, there's Japan. Guys, do you understand this? So let's say I want Iceland. So I'll click on requirements for au pairs in Iceland and they will show you all the requirements, all the things that you need to have. So use the link in the description. I'll title this country check. So you click on that link, you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you select country check, you fill the questionnaire, let them know you're not married, you don't have any kids and then your nationality and then your age and then they'll show you countries that suits you for you to au pair in, okay? Because not all nationalities are eligible to apply for an au pair visa in certain countries. So when you put in your nationality and your age, blah, 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 then they can show you countries that you qualify to au pair in, okay? And then you also go to each country and then you search the requirements and then you gather all the requirements and then you register or you create an account with the au pair world and then they'll pair you with a host family okay in my research i have found things that you can do or how you can you know create your profile to attract a host family i'll come and share that to you in another video in this video i'm only sharing one website there's so many other websites that people came through but like i said this was the most used okay with the people that i asked i'll do another video where i gave maybe five or six other websites that are also quite popular and you can create an account on these websites and then they can pair you to a host family in other parts of the world there's going to be a space for everyone because it's not just one particular country there's france there's germany there's spain there's netherlands there's canada but they all have specific requirements so when you use this link you go to each country you check the requirements and see which one you like and then hopefully you're able to get a host family and then you can travel and then work as an au pair it's not a permanent job it's for a short period sometimes one year sometimes two years but what i believe is that you having that visa in your passport it's going to go a long way to help you with your future travel plans or relocation plans okay or even when you get into that country you can find other ways to stay there permanently if you think you like that country so this is a great opportunity for you guys and i pray that whoever has good intentions okay if you don't like it don't do this okay before they catch you with a nanny come doing something bad to somebody's child don't do this but if you know you have genuine love for kids you really want to relocate this is it the money is not much like i said it's not much but at least you have a place to put your head and you have a family and some of these families can grow to love you more i watched several videos where they, the host families were saying that they had au pairs years back and to date they still communicate with the au pairs they send them stuff in their home countries they are so close to them now and like i said you can even decide to stay in the country after your contract because maybe you now find out of other opportunities to stay in that country and um, so that is all i have to say in this video subscribe to this channel and hit the notification so that when i upload the video about the top websites for au pairs for other countries countries then because there are specific websites for those that want to open in america in canada wherever i'll bring all that to you and i'll show you how to use the website as well and the things that you can say on your profile or write on your profile to attract a host family okay so thank you so much guys for watching i wish everybody the best with this journey okay it's not always care assistant care assistant care assistant see neck care see care there are so many opportunities to travel abroad explore and that is why this channel is there for you my name is anel grizelda thank you so much for watching but subscribe first. Bye.